Hey everybody, today is a great day because we are going to E3 now. Last time we left, I had done a series of videos on E3 in 2016, and my mindset for 2016 is I thought there's so many cool things on the floor of E3, and I didn't see any videos really on YouTube to kind of show you off what it looks like. And so I thought that it would be really cool to just walk around with the camera on a tripod way up high, kind of tilted down so you could look and see all the cool attractions, the cool things to see and whatnot, and walk all the way around to show it all off. And I thought that would be an awesome thing to do. And I did, and you know, the video got some views. It wasn't very spectacular. It wasn't nearly the kind of views that I thought uh, it should have gotten, eh, we'll stay out of the fast lane, you know. <clears throat> but in retrospect, I think about it, and I think about what are people going to search for, and that's kind of in my mind as I head to E3 right now. Now, I also wanted to vlog right now because sometimes my sleeping schedule gets all out of whack, and... When I feel like sleeping, I can't because I got stuff to do. And when I really wish I could sleep, um, I, I just can't force my body to. And so I am heavily sleep deprived right now. And so, oh, this camera's really shaking. If the camera's shaking, don't come a bacon. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You can tell I'm like really tired. My video editing computer is like right there. I'm taking it with me. I made sure to get a hotel that had a desk in it. So I will be shooting as much video as I can during the day. And then when I get home, I will not be going to after parties. There's like three or four or five after parties every night of E3. And that's kind of a big deal. Maybe I might go to one or two, I don't know. Um, let's see, what else? So last year, I went to an exclusive after party. Oh man, I still got 10 minutes on it. I went to an exclusive after party last year. And if you remember from my video for last year, I said that I had to sign an NDA to promise I wouldn't talk about that. And I don't really know why. I don't really think it's that big a deal. But the reason why I was able to go to that party is because I am a game developer. And so it's sort of like a party for other game developers. And I don't know if I mentioned this publicly, but at the party last year, I, I can talk about it now. I guess I just can't talk about who the party was for or, or um, where the location was. And that's probably basically what I can't talk about. And that's fine. I, I won't talk about it this year either. But I did meet uh, several of the people that worked on Grand Theft Auto V. And I, you know, and I was like, and the guy's like telling me, like, there's a group of people around us. And he's telling me the, these funny stories of uh, what it was like working on that game. And that was really cool. I also, I didn't uh, directly meet this woman, but I stood in a group of like five people and she was telling us um, her inspiration behind uh, We Happy Few. She was the art director for We Happy Few. You know that We Happy Few, it's that horror game it's where you take happy pills. And she was talking about why she chose the 1960s and why she chose Britain because she's not she's an American but she chose Britain as the backdrop and the 1960s as the backdrop and she talked all about that why why that and I thought it was really interesting and so that's uh, that's what uh, I'm looking forward to again going to that party again hanging out with game developers I prob I don't know if I will talk too much about what was told to me. I 
again. I'm under an NDA. I don't know what I'm supposed to. I think it's safe to talk about that stuff. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm doing right now is I wound down my game development studio. And, like, to give you an example, because I owned a game studio, uh, E3 just sent me tickets for free. I didn't even register. They just sent me uh, a ticket for free. You know, it's just like, I just got an email. Oh, here, since you're alumni, here you go. Didn't even apply, didn't even anything. So I'm still kind of leaning on the fact that I'm a game developer. Uh, and, and I'm using that uh, as in my YouTube career. And... And I'm slowly kind of transitioning, transitioning into being a YouTuber instead of being a game developer. I don't know what the future holds. I don't really see myself being a YouTuber professionally. And the reason why is because, one, it's very, very competitive. It's very difficult to make it as a YouTuber. And the other reason is I'm not really sure I would want that to be my entire career. I think it's fun, and I think it's, I like it, but I feel like I would want to be a YouTuber and something else. And so I think that, um, well, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm having fun. I like it. It's interesting. It's also really interesting being a YouTuber and starting to make connections with uh, game publishing companies like I'm doing. So I've hooked up uh, a couple of meetings. I'm trying to get more meetings, of course. A lot of publishers don't kind of ignore me because I don't have a very high sub count. And so, like, uh, I was going to meet with... Um, oh, there's some really big game publisher. And I was trying to book a meeting with them. And they're like, oh, yeah, sure, man. Uh, what's your sub count, by the way? And I went, okay, that's that's the end of that. <laughs> so I emailed him back saying, well, here's a link to my channel. You can see what my sub, sub count is. And I didn't hear back from him, so I know that that's... that's uh, he went, oh, you have less than 1,000 subscribers. Okay, fuck off. Um, that's kind of that's how it is. That's all right. You know, you got to start off at the bottom and work your way up. That's fine. I'm all right with that. Uh, it's a slow process. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's so tacky to ask people to subscribe to your channel. I really do. There's a lot of things that I just don't do that everybody else does. I don't... I try not to... Go, I don't... I did this maybe a little bit in the beginning... I would go to other people's videos and I would make a comment hoping that they would come back and check my channel. I'm really not, at this point, I'm really not that concerned about trying to grow my channel. I'm more concerned about just trying to make my content better. And that's, and that's pretty much all I'm focused on. I want my content to be as good as possible. And that's, that's, you know, that's it. And if my sub count was higher, that would open up a lot more doors for me. But, yeah, you know, that's just how it goes. Anyways, I have no idea if I can... I've never been to the PC Gamer Award, so I have no idea what that show is like. I don't know if I can bring my camera. So... On the one hand, if I can't film it, why, you know, if I can't make a YouTube video out of it, why even bother going? And that might be the case. It could be, I don't get to film it. I could be like, I'm in a seat somewhere and I don't get the chance to set up a tripod and big bump. Ugh. And so maybe there'll be a video on that. Maybe there won't be. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. But if I can't shoot the video, it's still going to be an enjoyable experience because I'll get to see what it's like. 
And another thing too is I'm probably going to meet some indie developers. E3 is not very friendly for small, the little guys. E3 is mostly a chance for for Microsoft and Sony and and Nintendo, and that's really the big three. And you know, Activision will announce their latest Call of Duty thing or whatever. And, and uh, Blizzard is way too big. That's kind of weird to think about. Yeah, Blizzard is way too big a company to go to E3. They, they're so big, they do their own BlizzCon thing. And even though Bethesda is doing a separate thing, uh, they still have a presence at E3. Uh, EA Games does not have a presence at E3 anymore. They just do their EA Play, which uh, I went to E3. EA Play last year. I'm going again this year, so I have tickets. Uh, I got tickets uh, this year. So I will show you uh, Battlefront, the Battlefront Star Wars 2 game that they have in development. So I'll be showing you guys that game. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get footage of me playing it. I don't know. Like, I couldn't get Battlefield uh, the World War 1 they wouldn't let me get footage of that, of me playing it. I took footage anyways. And then I ended up not... Uh, I took so much video last year that I never even used. Because it just seemed redundant. Or, you know, it just wasn't... I didn't, didn't have... I didn't have all the elements I needed for a story. So I just... So I'm a lot more focused this year. I made so many mistakes last year, so hopefully this will be better. I'll probably make a ton of mistakes this year, and then next year I'll be like, what was I thinking? You know, and I just, I hope you guys realize that, that there's so much potential for this channel. There's so much I'm not doing that I could be doing that I, I hope to be doing soon. And so I have so many big plans for this channel. And I have got a minute of <laughs> left of recording my camera. This camera only shoots for 20 minutes at a time. So that is going to shut off pretty soon. So i got to wrap this up. Or uh, hit record again. I don't know which I'll do. I'll probably go uh, set up all my gear at the hotel. And I will show you what that looks like. And that will be the end of this video. So, so we'll end this video here. And then we'll pick it up from my hotel room, and then I'll finish it there, right?